I'm here at Able Light Thrift Store in Minnetonka, Minnesota. Let's see what we can find. Here we go. Hello, you all. You know, I always love to check the bag wall. Sometimes they have some cute things. A little denim Liz Claiborne here. It's pretty cute. But I don't need it. I just found my nice leather bag that I showed you last week at a thrift store in Burnsville. This, <laughs> love. Adorable. Oh, it's got a little rhinestone bow. Let's see a price. Oop. Nine dollars. Darling is the name. But it is like basically new. It doesn't look, look well, one little spot there, but be better at five, but they don't price any of their bags low. So I've just come to accept it. It's still better than going to Target. You're still gonna pay less. Okay, I'm headed over to the stuff, but of course holiday is on the way and always catches my eye. This is adorable. It has some condition, it has a condition issue, but it's like a canister you could put on your um, counter for Christmas time, but it's eight, which without the condition issue, I would probably pay, but the condition issue, I'm like, huh, you could have you marked it down a little. Anyway, I thought it was cute. Wanted to show it on my way to the other stuff. Those would make nice gifts. Oh, sweet. <gasps> but the puppy. Oh. Does it light up or anything? No. It would be really fun if you could put like a bulb in there and have like the fire light up or something. It's pretty. Probably had a pair. Oh, it's old. Um, the prices seem a little high today. They had been coming down, which is why I was coming back. Hopefully they're not going in the other direction. Oh no, 99. That's, see, that's good. That's a good price. Maybe that one's like leftover <laughs> from days gone by. This is probably Swedish. It's not marked. I'm pretty sure these are made in Sweden. Five bucks. It is, um, this one's broken. You can see the trees are kind of broken off. This, oh, it has a year. If it didn't have a year on it, I might get it. 1984 is not significant to me. I was eight. Um, 99 cents, it's a good price. But I like the, the red wear glaze kind of thing going on. really fun. Two bucks. I need some lights. I haven't looked in Target. I would only get them if they were new. Sometimes they have new ones, but I'm not seeing any white. Okay, I'm checking out the furniture. I always like to look. They have um, really good prices on their furniture. If you ever need anything and you're in the area, this is Able Light. I said that in the beginning, but just in case you missed it. See anything that's really catching my eye? Lots of chairs this week. But you can see like 10 bucks or 10 bucks. You know, 10 bucks for a chair is fabulous. Okay, um, this is really cool. These are old, these are really old very cool but they're one-sided because the new ones are two-sided it's almost a mark of its age there you can kind of see just the old mark on it they have this at 10 that's not terrible if you're a collector that's actually a really good price but i don't need another thing for fall i'm happy with where i'm at and i do do some reselling but um at that price, it wouldn't really be worth it for me. 
Okay, I really like this. Is that a real gourd? I think so. That is super neat. Different. Four bucks. Okay, that is something I would consider just because it's really cool. I can't tell if it's real or not, but it almost doesn't even matter. It's just cool. It probably says it under that price tag, but I can't read it, so. Of course, I always have to check the bunnies just in case. That's really good price, three bucks. He's really cute. He looks like carved wood. He's probably resin. 99 cents? What? Is he broken? Why is he 99 cents? Oh my. Why do they challenge me, tempt me? <laughs> and I don't collect teapots. Um, I guess this isn't even a really a, a real one, but it's, it's a figurine, but oh, it's musical. But it's really, really adorable. It has some slight condition issues. They have 10 on it, but it's big. I don't think that's terrible for what it is. It has a sweet face. I like the wooden ones, but I have some. Don't need those. Okay, now I can leave the bunnies, I think. This is probably Dollar Tree. I'm over in the lamps. This is adorable for a nursery. It is broken, unfortunately, but adorable. I don't know the price, but I don't want to touch it. I don't want to move it too much. <laughs> It's already having condition issues. I like that brass lamp. Let's see. I don't see a price on it. Mm hmm. Ah, five dollars. That's so cheap. I wonder if it works. They used to um, write whether or not the things worked. They don't seem to do that anymore. Okay, over in the clocks. I don't know why this one's laying down. Oh, I guess it's a hanging one. That's why. But that has a pretty face. I feel like I should stand it up so people can, like, see it. There. That's secure. I love clocks. I've told you that before. I really have no need of another clock, but I just like them. These have been here. Good price, but I mean, I, don't, I think people are like, what do I do with it, you know? And I know there's there's things you can do, but I don't know. I always think they look cool, and then I'm like, nah. Is that for, what is this for? Cheese? I don't know. Okay, it looks like they've restocked their figurines, so that's fun. Oh, <laughs> he's really, really sweet. Oh, nice up there. Oh, it's Christmas. Park the Herald Angels Sing. That's cool. A little primitive something or other going on here. Rooster. Cute. Dollar ninety nine. Each. These look like probably, well, maybe not. I can't tell um, if they might be ones you like. Nope, they're not. I don't, oh, it says made in Japan. I don't know what that symbol is. So those have some H to them. I'm wrong. I think he has a little chip on his nose. Glaze is chipped a little bit. I'm guessing he's also made in Japan, but he's crazing a lot. I don't know if you could see that. His glaze is definitely having some issues. Okay, this is interesting. Just a thumbs up. <laughs> is it for rings or something? Huh. Maybe it's for rings. I don't really know, it's kind of funny. I bet someone would buy that in my space. It's because it's weird.
This is the dip thing. It was this was here last time, and I was like, oh, I should have gotten it. I guess I could turn it around. I'm not so into hearts, but it would be super useful for when I have people over and I make um either I serve top to the tater or I make onion dip because then it keeps it cold. How much is it? How much? Three ninety nine. I'm gonna think about that because I did regret not buying it because we had people over um, like a week or two ago and I was like, oh, I wish I'd gotten that thing. <laughs> what are these? Oh, they're heavy. Hmm. Okay, let's use our noggins. What are these for? Huh, no idea. Oh, she's a little trinket box. I never can open them. Oh, it could be just China. Yeah, look at that. It's um Dollar Tree. I never saw this at Dollar Tree. She's adorable. She's three dollars. Okay, I'm over here in the dishes. They've kind of moved some of their gravy boats to the front. Smart move. $3.99, that is really pretty. For fall, for Thanksgiving. Little um, ironstone, made in England with its saucer. Love. That's made in Japan. Sorry, I might put music over this. They're moving some furniture. It could get loud. I think this is really pretty. Made in Portugal. Very pretty. And then these are really pretty. I can't remember if these have been here. Quite lovely though. Oh, Johnson Brothers. Ironstone. Interesting. I would have thought. It's not a classic ironstone pattern. Really pretty though. Whoops. I mean, ironstone just refers to the clay, the type of clay. So I guess you can use clay to, and put any print on it you want. There's just ones that are more traditional. Oh, these are so cute. They're probably just um, creative co-op. Is that? That could be Walmart or it could be Target. Really, really adorable. Reminds me of red mushrooms. And then some china. There's the pattern I like. It's a pretty blueberry plate. Two dollars on that, it's pretty good. Oh, these are gorgeous. Those will go with my Easter dishes. I don't need teacups and saucers though. Okay, I'm over in the vases, flower vessels. Nice pot, $5.99, great price. Which, I mean, I know you might think for a thrift store it isn't, but for a pot with a saucer is a very good price. Oh, and there's another one. They're each $5.99, and this one has crazing, but these don't. That's really nice. I always like to check the art wall. This is drawing me in. That's an adorable little person. And then I also like this a lot. That's a painting. $15. It's beautiful, but it's big. I would almost want to put it in my booth space, but it's so big. I don't even think I have room for it, but really pretty.
Okay, I think this is really pretty. It looks hand done. It's got this like inlay, it's signed. And it's one of those like collapsible baskets. Just really cool. $5, not bad. That's really cute. This was a little bigger. I would get it for on top of our dog crate. I've been looking for a different basket, but I think that's not quite big enough. If you've been with me to Able Light before, which you have, I'm sure if you've been watching in the last few months, I always like to finish off my trip with a little trip to the linens just to see if there's anything I need to have. Whoops, what just fell? Oh, one of the napkins. And this is pretty. These are starched heavily, or one is anyway. $2.99 for both. Cool. That's pretty. And done. Nothing else I like to look because I just like linens the way I like dishes. <laughs> That's very pretty. Okay. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's so cute. Novelty oven mitt. <laughs> Adorable. It's a kitty cat. Oops, someone's not happy. They're fighting down the way. Okay, we've got some napkin rings. Ooh, what are these? No. They're gonna be more like dealt. Okay, what are these? Fruit. Let's see, those are fruit napkin rings. These are, oh, these are cute. Wooden, different kinds of fruit, but they look carved. Those are neat. One, two, three, four. Let's see, one. That's weird. That does not belong in this bag, but there's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a good number. Cute. This is a vintage sheet. Maybe pillow. Oh no, it's a curtain. Actually, I can't tell. Either way, it's old. Definitely like, oh, these are so cute. I like that pattern. It's pretty. And what else? Oh. These are hand-stitched. Okay, what is this? A little flower sack cloth. New Zealand's national dessert. Interesting. Is anyone from New Zealand and can vouch for that? Is that true? <laughs> I think nothing for me in the linens today, but it's been fun to look. I'm going to head to the checkout and pay for what I got, and I'll meet you back in the craft room. See you there. Hello. I hope you enjoyed coming with me to Able Light Thrift. That is Able Light Thrift Store in Minnetonka, Minnesota. It's one that has been on my rotation because their prices are pretty decent. And yeah, I had a good time there. I always have a good time there. And just a few updates. Um, if you've been tracking with me. Oh, someone's asked about Betty again. Betty broke. I'm going to be really honest. I, we are having trouble fixing her and it's not high on the priority list. And I don't know someone who solders. So Betty's in the closet. If you're wondering, she's actually right there. <sighs> she's with us. She's just not out because she can't stand up anymore. Anyway, um, maybe at some point it will get figured out. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll be really honest. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to figure it out, but hopefully you'll keep watching even if Betty is MIA. So that's the update there. Also, uh, I did get a new car. You can check it out on Instagram. My tag on Instagram is Nicole Northgarden. Not my tag, my, what do they call it? My Instagram handle is Nicole Northgarden. No spaces, no underlines, nothing. Just Nicole Northgarden. And so, yes, we they did total out my car uh, from the accident. I guess the cost of repair was higher than 
I don't know, whatever their formula is, they determined it a total loss. And also for safety reasons, because I guess something happened with the frame slash suspension. So anyway, it was a total loss. And so we obviously, we had a loan on it, but um, we got gap insurance. So that got all taken care of. And then we just had to start fresh. And I said, you know what? We're going to get the safest car we can afford. <laughs> Now there might be safer cars, but for safety, I went with a Subaru. So I got a Subaru Outback and yeah, they're running good deals. So there you go. That's what's happening there. Um, the soreness has improved, um, a little tight. I would say I'm a little tight, but you know, whatever. I'm probably going to get some physical therapy related to that and that'll be that. Um, yeah. So I think that's the updates. Those are the updates. Um, and because of all that happening, I haven't gotten a vlog up, even though I meant to. I have some footage now that's like from the summer. So I need to get that up. Um, it just hasn't happened because I've just not had a spare minute with all that's been going on. But that's not why we're here. Um, we're here for me to show you what I bought at Able Light Thrift. So let's get to that. Well, there's one you can kind of see. <laughs> so I did buy the little dip um, I don't know. Is it like a cooler crock or something? Basically you put ice cubes. Let's see if we can untape it. Um, hmm. Okay. There you go. So you put ice cubes in here and then you set this here and it will keep a cool dip cool. And we eat a lot of sour cream based dips in our house. Like onion dip and you know veggie dip etc especially when we have people over and there have been multiple times where I've taken like a bowl and set it within another bowl of ice to try to keep dip cold and so I had seen this like a few weeks ago and didn't get it and I was then we had people over and I was like oh I should have gotten that thing so when I went back and it was still there and I think it was still there because they had it in the wrong spot I think it was in with the candles it's not a candle thing. It's for dip. So I was really happy to be able to get it. Now it does have a flaw. I noticed at the checkout, it has a little flaw right here. You can kind of hear it. You hear that? There's a little flaw in the glaze. So she gave me a discount. Um, she gave me 25% off. It was $4. I got a dollar off basically. So I paid $3. And the only thing when the glaze is like that, you just don't want it to sit in water. I'll still be able to wash it. But if it sits in water, the water can actually get into the glaze and into the clay and then things crack easier. So I don't want that to happen. I won't be letting that sit. But that's also on the um, the outside piece. So it won't be even really getting that dirty. You know, I mean, obviously the rim will because dip. But the dip will be in here. So that's the part that will get the dirtiest. And I'm so I'm happy to have that for our entertaining purposes. Okay. Then I picked up some frames. They had really cute frames. Um, I thought this one was adorable. You can see it has some rhinestones and some little pink stones. I thought that was really cute. And then I got this. It's an elephant. I don't know if you know, but Molly loves elephants. It made me think of her. Oh, and this one was $1.99. And this one was $99, which is funny because it's bigger, but this was $99. And then I got this one because it just looks old, even though it's not. Um, and it was 99 cents. So these are great to use in like a vignette. You can, you know, you can put a seasonal photo in there. I could put a little cross stitch in there. Um, yeah, it's not old, but it looks old. So that's why I liked it. It goes with the aesthetic of my home. Then I did pick up the gourd, the carved gourd. We're still not clear. Is it real? Is it not? Let's see. What, let's see if we can tell from the sticker under the price tag. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to get it off. Mm, let's see. Uh, okay. Gourd. It is a real gourd. It says gourds are flammable. Do not use candles in or on them or, or, or near them. So it is a gourd. It is flammable. I wasn't planning to put a candle in it. I guess you could put a candle in it. But I guess that's why they have to say that because it looks like you could, but you could definitely put a light in there, but I'm probably just going to put it on a shelf like this. I have two shelves I'm hoping to get decorated this week. Um, so that's going to be part of that display. And I already have something for that shelf that will light up. It's the shelves. I put them in like a few years ago now. They're in my uh, family room. And I'm going to be really honest. We have not decorated that. Like this is how little decorating I've done this year. Those shelves have been undecorated since we took the Christmas village down, which we keep up through the winter. So we probably took that down in February. 
and then they just sat undecorated because it's just been it's been a really interesting and different kind of year um yeah so we'll just leave it at that just busy 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 and yeah just lots going on so anyway I'm going to get those shelves decorated and that's actually why I got this I'm hoping to put it up there okay and then I did get this for the pink elephant it's a thumbs up I just thought it was funky and weird and I definitely think the my clientele who comes into Pink Elephant is you is I mean sometimes people come who watch my videos but then a lot of the people who shop my booth are younger um like 20 somethings and they just like weird stuff so I can buy things that I would not put in my home and put in the shop and they usually sell so I thought that was kind of cute thumbs up I also got these for the shop the napkin rings that look like different pieces of fruit and I think I'm going to display them I'll just like get a scrap piece of fabric or something uh and put them all on you know sell them as a set this one is just a random one we're not going to put that one in but there's like a pineapple and a strawberry and uh maybe that's a mango I think and a banana and yeah, there's six. That's good. Because I was like, oh no, is there only five? There's six. Um, this is an apple. And then this is another apple. So I thought those were really cute and different. And yeah, I think they will sell at the pink elephant. Okay, and then that's it for the shop. Then also for myself, of course, I had to get the bunny. He was only 99 cents. It's because he was so cheap. He's so cute. I don't know why he was only 99 cents. Like he's adorable and he looks like a carved wood. He's probably resin made in China. So, I mean, there's nothing special, you know, per se about him. What is this? There's a sticker on the bottom of him. What does it say? Oh, I guess it's just the previous owner. I'm not going to say her name. I don't know why that's on there. Maybe it was used in a display and she wanted to make sure it got returned to her or something. Whoops. Hopefully she knows that it went to the thrift store. <laughs> anyway, I thought he was super cute. I have a hard time resisting a cute bunny. As you may have realized as you've watched my videos. And that's just the truth. Okay, so that is all for my thrift haul. But also, I bought something for myself at the Pink Elephant, which I want to show you. But also, <laughs> someone sent me a present. It was so nice. So let's see if I have... So someone I love to watch on YouTube is called Fat Bird Finds, and um, they do some live sales, and someone bought me something. Carolyn, you're so sweet. She bought me a present and had it shipped to me, which was so nice. So, but I also, I want to share the swag that Fat Bird put in the box. So, so this little duck was taped on the package. How cute is that? They call me North. <laughs> so that's why it says north and then in the package were these fun stickers so I got a fat bird fine sticker and a five swing vase week fat bird finds that one's like a vinyl sticker and then a coaster how cute are they they are the fun it, it's a really fun live show I you watch it on Friday it's on Friday nights so sometimes I'll tune in and the people are just really funny uh, it's just a fun time. So yeah, if you ever need something to do on a Friday, go ahead and watch Fat Bird Finds. But then they also have their live sale, which they sell things usually during that. I don't know if this was from like the Friday night sale or if they do something another time of day. I don't really know. But this was a lovely surprise. It's a Polish pottery mug, which is awesome because I actually broke one of mine. The handle broke off. I didn't drop it or anything. The handle just went boop. So it must have been like, I don't know, a seconds or something. But I absolutely adore Polish pottery. And this one is so cute because it has like, this is called like a peacock design, I believe. Oops. And then these are polka dots. Like how cute are those polka dots? Oh my goodness. Absolutely love. Okay. So that was the gift that I was sent. Thank you so much. I'm going to add to my, look, I have Fat Bird Finds um, swag here. So I'm just going to add to my swag. Um, actually, that one's probably going to fall, but I'll put maybe this one here or something. I'll figure out a way to stick those up there. Okay. And then the thing I bought for myself from one of the sellers at Pink Elephant. Oh, isn't he cute? He's not old, I do not believe, but he's so cute and in an old style. And he is paper mache. Um, you can kind of see he has one little flaw right there. 
And I just thought he was so adorable. He is also going to go on the same shelf that I'm decorating, um, different shelves, but I thought he would be really impactful for Halloween. Uh, so cute. I just, I really love the like black cat, the vintage black cat things that you can get for Halloween. I just think they're really cute. So anyway, that was from a seller. Her name is Therese. She has lots of good stuff. Um, highly recommend coming to the Pink Elephant if you're ever in town because I love to shop there too in addition to selling. It's just really good prices, really good people. I love the place. Um, yeah. So anyway. Okay. So that's all that I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Carolyn for my little surprise gift. That was so nice. And I will see you in my next video. I hope you have a great week. Bye.